percent Stiefel with today's update on the markets and what's going on. Uh, good morning, Jake. Hey, uh, how was yesterday? Give us the start there. Yeah, well, yesterday the Dow was up 251 points to 26,656. Stock, the stock market rallied with the Dow setting new highs while the dollar slipped as trade fears eased. Oil prices fell after the U.S. after U.S. President Donald Trump urged OPEC to lower prices. A long-dated Treasury yields fell as investors sought the safety of government bonds and gold edged higher. So, all not right. a bad day yesterday. It was not a bad day at all. How about Jefferies? Well, uh, financial services company Jefferies reported a 28.2 percent decline in third quarter profit yesterday. Uh, it was hurt by lower investment banking revenue and higher interest expense. Uh, net income fell to 60.2 million from 83.8 million a year earlier. Net revenue fell to 776 a million from 800 million. Uh, they usually kick off earnings season and are widely seen as an indicator of performance of big Wall Street banks. So we'll see if this is the the first one to come. So. Yeah, Caterpillar, a uh, company here locally, right up the the road here. Yeah, well, Caterpillar, uh, six months into U.S. tariffs, Caterpillar is finding that one of the best ways to protect profits is cost-cutting. At its plant in North Carolina, it makes small front-end loaders. Uh, the company laid off workers in response to plunging sales. They consolidated two shifts into one. Uh, even with demand picking up, it's still running one shift and runs only four days a week. Now, this is interesting. The result is... CAD is producing more loaders here with 30% fewer people on the factory floor than in the past. It has redesigned all the, you know, to all new machines with over 20% fewer parts and cutting back on consumption of steel, which brings down costs. So it's been a positive. Interesting. Wells Fargo is, seems to always be in the news. What's going on now? They have Wells Fargo to cut headcount by 5 to 10% within the next three years as part of a turnaround plan. Uh, the cuts will help Wells reach its goal of reducing costs by about $4 billion by 2020 as it tries to grow profits and recover from a series of scandals that it's had in the last few years. That's probably what you've been talking about. Absolutely. And today, what are you expecting? Well, the, today, the, the futures on the Dow right now look up about 7 uh, we get the manufacturing sector PMI. Uh, we also get the services sector uh, new business index. And world leaders gather at the United Nations for the 73rd annual United Nations General Assembly. So we'll see how those things come out and uh, see how they move the markets. Scott Carruthers, financial advisor with Stiefel Nicholas, thank you once again for your updates. Thanks. Sounds good. Thank you.